As part of a free update, we've modified Epic's default mannequin control rig to work with your Special Ops custom characters. In this video, we'll be going over how to add and work with the rig in Sequencer. Open up the control rig map and click on the Level Sequences dropdown, which shows you what level sequences have been added to your current map. Click Level Sequence underscore Control Rig. In this sequence, you can see three characters already added as well as a rifle that's been attached to Renzo using an attach track, binding the rifle to Renzo's hand bone. Wherever Renzo's hand bone goes, so goes the rifle. Let's add our own character, pose it, and attach a pistol using another method. Before we start, two quick tips. In Editor Preferences, search for Arc Ball and turn on Enable Arc Ball Rotate. To quickly reset a control to its default transform, press Control-G. And to reset the transforms of every control on the selected rig, press Control Shift G. This will come in handy when animating in Unreal Engine 5. Add a character by going to the Special Ops, Characters, Control Rig folder, and then drag a BP underscore Control Rig out into the level. Then go back to our level sequence and press Control A to add the character to the sequence. You should see the Control Rig come in with the character. Make sure Auto Key is turned on and get to posing. Now enjoy me pretend to be an animator. It may be a good idea to get into the habit of pressing enter after you've moved a control or an object into a position you like, as this creates a key regardless of whether auto key is on. Almost done. Let's find a pistol from the content browser and add it to the map. And then our level sequence like we did with the character using control A. Let's position it close to the hand. And then, with the pistol selected, create a parent constraint from the animation tab. Select our desired parent control, in this case, hand underscore r underscore ik. And look at that. Now, wherever Jiho's hand goes, so goes the pistol.